Hello everyone, Pling Plong Warrior here today with a new video, and just before the video begins, in this video I will be mainly focusing on the Hawk Raider Sword, the first Duel of Griffith Sword, Godo's first replacement, and Dragon Slayer, which is the huge one to the left if you don't know what it is. Hope you enjoy the video, and if I get anything wrong, please let me know down in the comments, but I'm pretty sure I know what I'm talking about, but maybe not. I'm not sure I'm going to fault myself, but enjoy the video. Dark Souls 1 has a very good portray of Guts' sword, and I I'll be showing off every ability. I don't think I show a swing of the sword in every game, but overall, it is obviously not our Dragon Slayer, but for being the first Dark Souls game and looking like that's his first sword in the Golden Age and whatnot when he first joins the Hawks, I think it's pretty cool. I'll show an image of it looks just like the one he arrived in when he met Griffith and all that. I think it's pretty good, but not our beloved Dragon Slayer. Now, Dark Souls 2 on the other hand, don't mind my sensitivity, apparently it's super high, but my my it looks at the beginning of the story when we go and meet Godo for the first time and he has to re you know forge it and fix it for guts and he has a whole speech but I personally think Dark Souls 2 is has a uh, you know it's different swing and all that and dodge it through all the games I think personally it's the best looking one but again that's me personally and then Dark Souls 3 honestly hilts a bit big but Still looks like a Dragon Slayer, but looks a bit like uh, one of Godo's replacements. It's like a hybrid. I think it's pretty good, but, you know, it's... Elden Rings is the same way, I believe. But it could be because my strength is there. Now, Elden Rings, I have no clue what the hell is going on with that hilt. It's pretty good, but the hilt, the handle, it's just all of it. It's just super, super big. Now... This is the portion where I do the ratings. So, if I piss you off, my bad. It's all personal. So, that's my. Now, I'm going to have to give number one to Dark Souls 2. Yes, I know, Dark Souls 2. Oh my gosh, number one for something. Maybe besides the worst game. My second rank will have to go to Dark Souls 3. Looks kind of like, just like Dark Souls 2 one, about the nips and nicks and damage. But it's that hilt, man. It just, it's so basic. Now, my third, surprisingly, the one I talk the most crap about, is going to Elden Ring. Just because it's, it looks more like a Dragon Slayer than like a Godo replacement, but the handle. I do wish I could put it lower, but the reason I'm putting number one as Dark Souls 1 or Remastered is because it's not our Dragon Slayer, which I know is a dumb reason. But, again, this is my personal pick. And that's what I chose. It's still a beautiful, awesome weapon, and I'm glad it's it got his first sword reflecting onto Dark Souls 1, the first game. Of course, you could count Demon Souls, but I don't believe Demon Souls has the great sword. Maybe it does. I've never played it. Not cool enough to own a PS5. Or I have a PS3, just don't have a copy. But besides the yammering, that is what I wanted to talk about today. And just my little rating. I will do a combat thing on a separate video. Uh, we all know that, like, Elden Ring is how I get number one. Like, let's be real here. Elden Ring and Dark Souls 2. But, um, my name's Plink Plink Warrior, and thank you for watching. Have a great day, night, whatever we're watching this, and love y'all.